Motion Company. Today we're talking about the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Let's get right into it. Battery, I give a 5 out of 10. Uh, it lasted all day, but not any more than that. Biometric, I give a 6 out of 10. I don't like the fingerprint sensor on the back. You have to pick up the phone and place your finger on it. Rather than iPhone, you tap, you unlock, and it sees your face. Uh, or like a phone that has fingerprint sensor on the side. You hit that, it unlocks. So, biometric receives a 6 out of 10. Camera receives a 9 out of 10. I would say that it is on par with the iPhone 12 mini, maybe a little bit under. Video is not that great, but as you know, I did a vlog with it last week and it turned out pretty good. So the camera gets a nine out of 10. Charging styles and ports receives a six out of 10. It charges with USB-C, it has a headphone jack, but it does not charge wirelessly with Qi, which is pretty important to me. Design and durability get a 8 out of 10. I do love the design of the Google Pixel 4a 5G, uh, and the, it stayed like, it didn't get very many scratches while I had it. So 8 out of 10. Display gets a 9 out of 10. I would say that it is better than the iPhone 12 mini. Uh, software performance gets an 8 out of 10. It's solid software and it didn't crash at all. So speaker quality gets a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I would say that it is on par with the iPhone 12 mini, but that's a small phone and Google Pixel 4a was actually pretty large. Uh, so I would expect better speaker quality for the price of $500. And wireless connectivity receives an eight out of 10 and price to value receives a seven out of 10. 500 is still kind of up there. It could be cheaper, but it's a solid phone. And overall, I would suggest it 72.5%. So that's added up all the scores together. 72.5% score. That's about all I have for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below your thoughts on this video. Later.